everybody, how you doing? Okay, um, welcome back to the second episode of my Scrap Mechanic series. I'm really taking a good deep uh, look into this um, game because I, it offers a lot and I'm quite fascinated by it already. Um, today, as you can see, we're look on what looks like train tracks, hence the title, trains. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, build a strange little train here. Now, you notice I'm using... Um, flower pots for wheels. More on that later. I just I just found that they were really good for various things and I'll show you how I got to this idea in a little bit. But first of all, we'll just um, we'll put this together. We're going to stick uh, six wheels on it just for a bit of stability. This is not the first train or train tester that I've actually made on this track. There's another one up at the end but we'll finish this one here and then we'll jump in. We'll drive along and you can see what's at the other end which is quite interesting. But meanwhile, it's just your basic flower pots and then underneath I put some wheels that will run in between the tracks to stop it going left and right or stop it running off the track, basically. Yeah? And that's it, really. Um, there's nothing more to it than that. Well, I built a wee lift to lift myself up and off the platform. It's really simple to make these lift things. Just put in a couple of angles and then reverse the angle out the first one. Press click and up you go. So yeah, I've already got loads planned for, for future episodes, including the next one, which is going to be about spiders. Um, I've already built my first spider. Anyway, we're on trains just now. So here you have it. We'll just link this all up. I'm only using four wheels. The middle two wheels are going to idle. Um, let's see, this is just a tester. It's just a proof of concept. Later on, what I'll do is, as, I'll, as I will expand this railway system here as far as my um, processor will allow me, and we will build bits and pieces onto it as time goes along so we'll keep coming back to this one so this is the this is the first station if you like and then later on we'll start to get really adventurous but let's just hop in and then um, toddle off to the other end runs really smooth which we can see the other one will surprise you but yeah um, okay it's a bit sparse looking but it is it's quite neat as well I like these tracks. This is the second set of tracks. I mean, the first ones were just a bit too narrow for stabilizer. I had to take half of it down and widen it, so oh gosh. Now, this is the gauge I'm going to stick to for the time being. So there we go. I'm whipping along there. Looks good, huh? I like that big. See the big lean over tree? In the distance. This is a big map, as I said before. Uh, I've been around it a bit more now, so I know my way around it now. But uh, yeah, it's got huge potential. There's so many things you can do here. So much you can get up to. Uh, so here we are, we're coming up to the first of two junctions that I'm experimenting with. Now you can put a turntable junction in it and then just drive on to it, hit a button and then it'll spin through 90 degrees or 180 degrees. I wanted to make this one because I thought it would give me more opportunity to put in different connections at the junction, which we'll see in future episodes if that's true or not. Now I can't operate distant servos from the cab just yet. There is a way of doing it, but I need to I need to get right into that side of things. So for now I've got to run over there <laughs> because it was parked at that side uh, until that comes into reach that switch up there. Yeah, I'll just toddle over there and we'll hit the switch. Hit the bloody switch. There it is. Doink. And away it goes. And it spins around fairy style. And it stops there. So now I've got to go all the way back over here. So it's a pain in the butt that is, but well, that's what it's problems to be solved. That's what we like. Uh, so later on, we will um, come up with solutions for that, and I know there is definitely solutions. Just ease onto. It. I've lost the train a couple of times by going right off the end of the track, so you need to be careful. Yeah, here, and there we have balancing in the middle is usually the best. Now we're standing right beside the switch this time. And we just swing round. Okay, right, so we'll leave it there for a minute and I'll go show you how I ended up using flower pots because what I was doing was I was experimenting with various different types of wheels. Now the idea was just to mess around with other blocks and see what would behave itself and what would stop the machine from flipping over. Because flipping over is a big problem. Because it's um you have to go through so many steps to get the thing uprighted and get back in and driving again. Flipping over is to be avoided. I uh, built this little machine first because it's a broad wheel base and it just uses the blue pipes as wheels. They are actual wheels. 
and it articulates along its length and through its length as you'll see so it's a ground hugger so that's quite a good quite a good system i might use that again in some way yeah uh, though it is a work in progress as you'll see because it's sort of even though I was able to get out of that one, I sort of tipped over, which is exactly what I'm not trying to do, but at least you can see the articulations now. Um, but yeah, no, that's got potential, that one. That really has. The red one, not so much, but this one, it's okay. See, this is what you've got to do to get back on every time. So we had to solve the um, tipping over problem, for sure, to make a, a vehicle that just almost would not tip over. And that's it right ahead of it there. You can see the... <laughs> the flower pots on the front. Now this is the non-tip over version here, but firstly what we'll do, or in a second, is we'll look at the, the first version that I built out on the flats, just to test it for speed and for drift and for power sliding and everything else, because the tires themselves didn't really power slide so much. And I wanted something that would, um, you know, you could throw about and get some nice moves out of. So this was good. It's weird looking, yeah, but uh, it's just, it drives so well. Flower pots are great. So, out onto the flats, and turn the engine up a bit, and then you can really start chucking it about in the back end of the road. So that was, uh, that was a big plus. I really like this. So, how weird does it look? Let me know. <laughs> but I don't know, I think weird is good. The whole thing is supposed to be weird. And besides, it's supposed to be scrap mechanic. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be using scrap, not just everything you can get your hands on, which is natural. There we go. That was alright. Okay, going back to our self writing mechanism. It's just two bars linked to two servos and a proximity sensor, so that when it goes up on its back, it will continually run through a cycle to push itself and uh, correct itself again. Uh, for off-roading, it's really good. It grips everything and it's, uh, it won't go. It just, it, it's actually quite difficult to tip it over, even though it's got a slight self, self writing on it now. It just, just yeah, oh, see what I mean? It's a really good machine. And again, it just doesn't want to tip over. Love it. Bit sparse, so we need to turn it up. This time we're over. Anyway, we go. Dunk. Boink. Looks like I'm trying to walk there, because it will it'll repeatedly go until you get back. A couple of times it did, it didn't uh, get me right. This one was when it embedded itself in the ground. Machines do that a lot. And then there was this other one which was just unlucky because it was a great leap. But it's, and then point upside down. And it says, no, it's going to sit here. And that was that. Okay, so back to the railway. Right, so here we find ourselves back. We've completed the first junction. And we're coming up to the turntable version now, slowly. Uh, can just see it there no more it's not very clearly marked but there's a machine on it just now which was one of my original machines much more powerful beastie so i need to transfer vehicles just by doing the quantum jump across sometimes it is quite handy no that's the engine wrong 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 go and then click over to the other side and then just reverse this up a bit it's a beast this thing yeah you just touch the accelerator and so as you can see it's got a few thrusters in the back of it uh, so I quite like the turntable, it worked quite well, however I had it set too fast, as you'll see in the wee minute, I had to dial it down a bit. So we're, all we're going to do is we're going to turn this around just to prove that it works, and then we're going to go back and we're going to drive the other train, once we've got this one, back to the first station. But I'll edit that out, don't worry, so we'll just get quickly show you this turntable. Yep, and away you go, too fast, it slings me off. So I'll get a wee adjustment here. We'll just knock it down, peg or two, pass too slow, and that's it. After that, it worked like a treat, no problem. And right, so where are we? Oh yeah, we're going to take this cat home, aren't we? Yeah. Just sling it around, and I'll just show you this one once more, and then we'll we'll, we'll edit out, and we'll go back, and we'll take out the other car. Uh, this is the one I'm going to stick with. I like this. It seems to work. It doesn't need any great restraint on it. It's got reasonable speed. And it's, um, yeah, it's quite versatile. Click that. I need to solve this switching problem. Definitely. Doink. Yeah, it works quite well. 
So I'm going to put in some elevated track switching it and some sideways moving ones there and try and get a really overly complicated uh, rail junction going because we can't really do bends. Well, I think I can do bends, but I'm not really good right now. So here's Fast Boy. Um, oh, you need to get some quick there. Yeah. He's got drive to nearly all of the wheels, both underneath and on top, plus five thrusters on the back. And uh, I thought I would smooth it out by having wheels on either side of the rails. And that would make it nice and smooth, but it didn't work. It just sh <laughs> shakes like crazy. Oh, it just jitters like mad. There's probably ways to engineer out of that. Maybe use the suspension and maybe the way you've got the wheels placed, but that model did not work. As you can see, he's a bit upset. <laughs> And you would think it's actually locked into those rails, it wouldn't be able to jump off, that was the whole idea. But it does, there you go. I don't know how it managed that, but it did, it managed to jump, get, get its wheels completely off. And I thought I'd lost it there, but if I discovered a little technique, is that if you put the lift under it, capture it onto the lift, sorry, right? And then put it to one side, then bring it back. You can actually ghost it through the, the, the girders, the railings, uh, the what do you call them, the I-beams. Uh, because when it's on a lift, it will disappear through things. Watch this. I'll show you. Eventually, I will show you. Now pick it up. Come on, man. Get on with it. See, it's a big beast, isn't it? It's got all sorts going on. It needed to build that thing. It didn't work. <laughs> Such is life. Right, so you... I'm going to get this right in a second. There we go. Plonk it down. There. There. That's it. Right, now all I need to do is operate a lift and it will ghost its way through the girders. See that? Until the girders are in the middle of the wheels. And that's it. So that's quite useful to know if you get anything that gets lodged out of place. Of course, you've got your sledgehammer as well. Sometimes that gets you in and out of problems, you know. You can hit things with it. Um, that's my, my first big monster train. So let's get heading for the scrapyard anyway, so I don't know why I'm bothering finishing with it, it's of no hope for. Do I make, I may try again with the heel, take, uh, take the middle ones out and try to space them stuff and, and put some suspension on, but I don't know, it's just something not right about it. There we go, that's it, that's it. Episode number two. Um, let me know what any things you want me to do in future episodes. You prefer me to see me building things? or driving things, or explaining things, or tutorialing, or whatever, uh, just let me know, yeah? And um, we'll see how we take it from here. Great game, but let's say next episode is spiders. Mostly spiders. A few other things, but mostly spiders. And I mean walking spiders, proper ones. Okay, catch you later. Bye.